Well, as you can see from the light just outside this window, it is an absolutely beautiful day here on Olympic Park, and certainly the warmest I've found so far. Um, one of the things that I wanted to talk a little bit about is the Olympic politics, which has been on people's minds since the opening ceremony, but in fact before that too. There have been so much discussions, especially about the North-South Korea relationship, and of course so much has happened since uh, that moment. I learned from people that this in fact was uh, a, a very fragile point and it was only decided that the North and South would walk into the stadium together just a few hours before the opening ceremony began. And so there are so many aspects of Olympic politics that are incredibly fragile that to just look at what happens and make judgments about it is really quite challenging. But certainly amongst the people that I've spoken to, there's a strong sense of there having been some really important geopolitical progress taking part in this Olympic Games as they have uh, with North and South Korea competing together within the women's ice hockey. The long-term impact of that is really anybody's guess, but, uh, but you know, I, I remember seeing one interview with Sir Hugh Robertson who spoke about the importance of the Olympics being a place where other conversations can take place, uh, which perhaps might not be possible in any other context. And we've seen that historically over the years. Now, it's a big step from there to say then that we get into a conversation about reunification and certainly speaking to Koreans here in uh, Pyeongchang, there's real division about the uh, prospect of that or indeed whether it's desirable. So I think um, it's important to be realistic about these aspirations, but certainly on the ground there's been a lot of support for the reunification and for the uh, collaboration that led to the North and South uh, coming together during these games. Um, there's a lot of expectations on the Olympics to bring about change, um, which is often perhaps overstated. Uh, at the same time, I think the more important work in politics takes place on the ground in conversations between people. In fact, the idea of the Olympic Games as being a place in time singularly physically located is a big part of its value system. It's about getting people together from many different nations where they can have conversations about their lives, eat together, sleep around the same vicinity. And I think those are crucial parts of, of being able to live together and make sure we have the prospect of some degree of peace. Um, it sounds almost uh, sort of idealistic to talk about it in those terms, but that's the vision. The vision is to bring people together and for that to be enough to form a basis for further collaboration. And when you look at the Olympic movement specifically, but also sports generally, over the last century, it has been uh, that kind of uh, community uh, of bringing people together. Uh, maybe it could do more to, to overlap into broader kind of uh, global processes of peace, but I guess it's still, um, still better than nothing. And um, the legacy of what's happened in this games uh, is I think likely to live in people's memory for quite a long time.